Ugh, sorry about that, you guys. You were not supposed to hear that. I was supposed to have muted my desktop sound. So I had to cut the stream. And go back and mute it. So this VOD doesn't get muted. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. At least I caught it ahead of time. Because that would have been terrible if I hadn't. It would have been, uh... It would have been copyright claim city. Oh my goodness. So I'm still setting up a little bit. I know I'm running a little behind today. Well, a lot behind, but only a little behind for me. Sorry, I've cleaned my glasses. Because I was noticing there was something that I was looking through. I feel like I'm still looking through it, though. So, that's vexing. my finger. Mm, I don't have to do. Oh. <clears throat> All right. I just have to make sure, real super quick. Okay. Good. I don't think it was live long enough for it to, um, for it to say that, you know, I had a VOD that I had to deal with. Hopefully it's not attaching the two. Um, hopefully. Alright. Let's finish setting up. We need our, we need our insects. And hopefully I can light this match and only this match. Eh, there we go. I much prefer those candlestick lighters but the child locks on them sometimes fuck with my hands. It's very shitty hand strength. that out of the way. Right. I did remember to get some of this twisted. I didn't twist any more orange. I'm not or blue. I mean we're not using it in bulk quantity, so I think we'll be all right. I think so. I think we will. Okay. I'm debating if I want to. Putting this in a separate bag, just as a temporary work bag. So that way what we're cutting I can cut into here, but mm, it might be alright. Alright, so happy Sunday. Or Monday, wherever you happen to be. I think for some people it might be Monday. 
It is our Labor Day weekend here in the States. We actually, actually had rain last night, or early this morning, however you want to look at it. Um, in the overnight hours, shall we say. <laughs> and uh, it stormed for a good while. And this morning, when I was checking all of the things that needed to be checked, um, it looks like there might have been some tent damage down at the fair for some booths because one booth posted, hey, we were lucky enough to not have any tent damage. And I'm like, oh, does that mean some people did? They shouldn't have been having that fair this year anyway. Since they weren't gonna enforce masks. My glue bottle didn't want to open. It just, and they didn't have the tents spread out. Everybody was shoulder to shoulder in there. It's bad enough they're having the square dancing competition with all the little kids that can't get things to stay safe. But I will say they did have the parade and it was a lot less um, was that not two pieces? Maybe that was only one. I, oh, nope, there it is. Um, it was a lot less people in the parade this year. I don't know if people moved away. I don't know if people didn't survive the situation going on and they had been sick. Um, maybe those people just had common sense. Anything is possible. We can hold out hope for some people, right? Maybe. Alright, so today's goal is to try to get the background feathers finished up on this side. we can actually make that happen. So I don't have to worry about cooking dinner or anything tonight, which is nice. We just have leftovers. Just rinsing off the glue brush. Alright, I turned my music off so I could deal with the desktop audio. Because I was in a panic and I was like, no! And then I forgot to turn it back on. I'm like, it's so quiet. Why is it quiet? You guys can't hear my audio, but um, hopefully you can hear my mic at least. It looks like my mic is functioning today. There's times where it will not, and I don't realize it. Alright. Guys, let me know if that's not zoomed in enough for you to see what we're doing. I'm zoomed out a bit more today. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Okay. At least that's what fixed it on my end. I don't know if it will fix it for you. It may not be doing it for you. In which case, if it's not, then fantastic. Let's 
Everybody's having a good weekend, or yeah, weekend's not quite over yet. Oh, I am shedding like crazy. I just don't my shirt. One bad thing when I wear light colors, I can see how much of my hair is falling out everywhere. This is crazy. Like, is it normal to shed this much? I don't know. It's weird. Alright. Oh, good. Loud vehicles. Some description. And I do apologize for that, but we live on a busy street and there's not much I can do about it. We live on the main road that goes through our town. They had put in a, uh, a bypass. So that those that were going through didn't have to deal with the um, town traffic. And a lot of people don't use it. For some reason. I don't know if GPS's just didn't update. Some people just like going through downtown, seeing what's going on. I mean, there's not a whole lot to our downtown. It's not like it's exciting or anything. Can I squeeze you in here? We probably should have cut you down. So I hope everybody's had a nice, relaxing weekend. Whatever it was you were doing. As we are working away on our project here. This is going to be one of our longer projects. So like I've said in previous streams, um, I, uh, I don't play music because I don't want to get DMC'd, but you are more than welcome to put on whatever you want to hear in the background. 
and just kind of chill with that. It's an art stream, right? So we'll be creative and use our imagination and pretend that I'm actually playing. Oh, oh, I didn't put a, okay, that's fine. I thought I had a uh, section in there. I don't. I thought I had a separator in there. Brush is dry, or as dry as it can be. It still might be a little damp. As long as it's not like dripping water, it should be good enough to spread this. Okay. Actually, I might not. Well, this guy fit pretty good in there in his trimmed state, so we'll go with that. This one on up in here. So I might just keep um, trimming these in, say, in half or up in here. Just for um, getting them to fit a little bit better. have to be a perfect fit. But I feel like we can work with it a little bit better. This one's going to be trimmed down a little bit. Further. I mean, there's going to be spots where we need to trim down some little guys here. And that's okay. This guy's kind of, kind of small to begin with. Well, actually, I guess he's not that small. He felt smaller until we popped him in there, huh? That's okay. Alright. So let's see about getting these pieces trimmed on up to fit in here.
and I do know that this project is going to be one of our longer ones. So apologies if you like to see a finished project a lot faster. Um, probably not going to be one of those things here. Can we use a whole one in this spot? Sometimes the whole ones can be a little tough to bend um, if they have to curve around. So sometimes it is just easier to trim them. To the approximate size needed. I am going to pick up our friends here and put them on the corner of the board because I do need to tilt this up for just a second. I need to see what's happening up here. Alright. So let's go ahead and cut our next guy. And I'm just approximately cutting these guys in half. size that looks like it's going to fit in here. I need to get a little guy. Alright. So thank you all for coming to the uh, Planet Zoo stream on Friday. I was blown away by how many views we had. Um, especially when I don't really know what I'm doing that well. And that, you know, I'm just trying to, to do something and have some fun. I'm not that great at the game. But you know what? We, we don't improve if we don't try. And who knows, maybe you'll see something that I do that gives you inspiration or vice versa. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Alright. Just need a couple more pieces tucked in on this side section here. And then we can move on to the next part. Let's make sure that this edge is covered properly. That's probably pretty decently covered there. All right. So now, oh, we're going to need a bunch of little guys in there. That's going to be a tight one. All right. Um, stylus or toothpick or paper clip, whatever you're using, tool check. Make sure you wipe the glue off of there. A little corner paper towel here from earlier. I was using to clean my glasses. We can reuse that to clean the nozzle off on the glue bottle. No sense in wasting these still usable paper towels. Oh, 
Oh, how appropriate. Soundtrack from Planet Zoo itself in the background. Remember to blot off as much water as you can off of your glue brush so that way it's not dripping wet and don't leave it in your water cup because uh, then it won't be as dry as it can be when you need it and um, it can make your shitty brush that you're using for your glue even shittier. Like, we don't have bristles falling out of it, but that's what could happen if you leave it sit in the water, or the handle could crack. Because the wood and expansion and all that. Unless you're using an acrylic handle. Sorry, I've got a little bit of glue on the edge of my finger, and I'm just trying to make sure that I've got it off. This is going to be a tight fit here. I'm always scared when I have to close my hand around it and snip because then I'm like, oh, don't cut my hand. But, uh, stylus. See if we can uh, get this squeezed in here. Hopefully, I cut this small enough because uh, no, I didn't. All right, our fingers are gonna get messy. It's like a fraction. too big in this one spot So tiny, it's like doing a diamond painting, but we have to handle these with our fingertips instead of a little tool that's going to pick them up. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Um, we have a problem with ragweed growing in our backyard, and... We can't really use a bunch of chemicals to get rid of it because the dogs like to eat the grass and we don't want it running off into the grass and whatnot. Um, so we keep trying to remove it and I swear this year it came back six times taller than it ever was. It's towering over our heads and over our shed roof and oh my god, I didn't know it could grow that big. I cut two. Where did the other piece go? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it blended into the background. Maybe we should be doing this over the tray so I can find them all. Maybe. Will we? Probably not, because I'm a glutton for punishment, but... Get in there. All right. The t oh goodness, these tight spots. That glue holds strong. Let me tell you, we had a hard time getting the glue to hold at first, but uh, that glue is holding on those. on those uh, support arm things that we did. 
Thank you, loud vehicle. For revving right in front of our house. You're awesome. At least you guys didn't have to hear all of the sirens and whatnot from the parade. That was crazy. They had like fire trucks from our town and the neighboring town and oof. They were just crawling past the house. It was pretty pretty loud. But then again, I don't like loud noises, so I personally found it obnoxious. I'm sure some people enjoyed it. But it was also when I was trying to sleep when they were going by because I sleep at odd hours. So it was not fun. Yesterday was like a total of maybe two and a half hours of sleep and then um I gave up trying to sleep because there was also people yelling and screaming outside and because they were excited and I'm like, oh, okay, sleep's not happening anymore. I did manage to squeeze in sort of a half-assed nap, but it didn't actually help. It kind of just helped me maintain status quo because I almost felt just as icky when I got up and I'm like Ugh. our house is not very soundproof and when you live on the main road that's also the parade route through town or at least for this event it's the parade route they don't do the homecoming parades or, or the Christmas parade past our house thank goodness but they also like to throw candy from the floats Floats is really a um, generous term. It's pickup trucks pulling flatbed trailers with people standing on them. Um, they like to throw candy from them. And that's all fine and good, except, you know, they're throwing it at two elderly people that can't get up off of the porch to go get it. So later I had to go and retrieve it from the grass so that the dogs didn't get into it. And uh, it was already melted because some of it was chocolate in the sun in the 90 degree heat and I was like, ew, the ants were already getting to it and uh, you know, that's that's one thing and you know, plus with the way things are right now, I was really kind of weirded out that they were throwing candy, but okay and um, then I was finding candy wrappers everywhere now it was a little breezy, however, when the majority of people on the sides of the road are adults that are here to watch this, and they've brought little bags for their kids to scoop up the candy with that they throw from these floats to take home, put your trash, your candy wrappers in the bag that you brought to put the candy in or bring a second bag I could not believe the disrespect in the litter like we don't have a choice of the parade going past our house the adults could at least be trying to make sure their kids understand to put the trash in their bag I mean, I understand it was a little breezy and, you know, one or two wrappers may have gotten away, but there was a lot of wrappers just kind of tossed. And I was like, oh my god. And it does no good to complain because nobody's going to do anything about it. We'll complain to the city. They don't care. Because this is a big money-making event for them this weekend. But I'm just like, really? It just amazes me because the people in this town are like, Oh yeah, small town pride and blah blah da 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 and Be patient this weekend with tourists coming in for this and extra heavy traffic and I'm like, well, how about we don't be disrespectful and, and don't litter? 
Like, you know, let's use our brains here. But I guess that's asking too much. I mean, we get the occasional piece of trash to blow into our yard, but this was excessive. I mean, I get it, our yard's not showcase perfect. That doesn't mean that we like people's trash sitting in our yard. Trying to grab this stuff. Nope. There we go. Making a little bit of progress. Thank you. sit down sit in your space this space is gonna be a nightmare kind of kicking myself for not planning out these spaces as well as I should have But there's nothing for it now, I mean. All right, these two, I feel like we can use another part. So I'm gonna set those to the side. Ah, shit. They hit my hand. I felt them hit the top of my finger. And now I don't know where they are. I'm sure you guys saw where they flew. There's one. The other one go with it. Oh well. We won't be finding that one probably. That's okay. We've got plenty. I managed to get some of this um, twisted for today, so. I had an extra moment. To do that this week. I think I'm noticing my hair falling out more because it's down. And I normally always have my hair pulled back because I don't like it touching me. I do miss having long hair though, but I can't stand the weight of the long hair anymore. It um, bothers my neck too much, which makes me sad because now I can't even have enough hair to braid it. I used to always have longer hair for the longest time. Then I hurt my neck. And, uh, yeah, there's been no, uh, no going back to that ever since then. I can actually feel it when my hair gets to be, um, past my shoulders. Which is really annoying.
Alright. So I'm trying to think of what we're gonna do when we get done Project PFL. As I am dubbing it. And I don't know. I mean, we could try to wood burn a little bit and then paint whatever we're gonna do. We could do like a crafty thing. Just to change things up a little bit. We could do an oil painting. Well, a mini oil painting. Um, that's a possibility. We could do an acrylic painting. Or we could do another tissue paper art. That is also a possibility. <gasps> Jeez. Okay, we're gonna tuck that back there. My elbow hit the edge of my water cup. I do that, like, I've done that like six times. I spilled it three. <sighs> Didn't think I was that close to it. Surprise! That scared me. Oh, shit. I just do apologize for the later start today. I was laying in bed trying to get up. And I turned my head. And then I was like, ow! So, um... My neck didn't appreciate the way I was laying, and then I was laying there trying to make the neck gods happy once again. Um, they are hard gods to please, let me tell you. Okay. Make sure my fingers are dry. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a little bit tough here. Oh, if you see like weird patches of skin. Or what looks to be weird patches of skin on this hand. This is dried glue, okay? It's dried glue because I wipe my stylus off on it. That's all it is. So don't get freaked out. I'm weird and I will wipe excess glue off on my hand because I'm like, okay, I can just peel it off there. It's not going to bother anything there. It's not going to be in the way. It's just dried glue. So don't don't be all weird. Be like, ew, oh my god, the back of her hand. No, no, it's, it's glue. It's glue if you missed it. Because I know some of you out there that are new would probably be like, uh, what is going on there? Don't act like you wouldn't be. I see you. Come on, get in there. Thank you. Do, do, do. So what are you all listening to today? What is everybody up to? What were your plans for this weekend? Did you have any plans for this weekend? Sorry. I'm listening to the Planet Zoo soundtrack now that came up through my playlist. As it is on random. And some of it is quite bouncy and fun. Highly recommend to give it a listen. 
if you are into instrumental stuff. It's mostly instrumental. What song is this? Oh, it's You, Me, and Other Animals is the name of the song. Alright, so we'll get that filled in there. Oh, of course, when it started to thunder last night, Zuzu got upset. I don't know what his deal is. Thunderstorms didn't used to bother him when he was a puppy. And then all of a sudden, the past couple of years, he's like, nope, I'm out. I'm upset. Do something about it. Make this noise stop. And I'm like, buddy, I can't. Like, we just kind of have to sit through it. I'm not happy about it either, but... Momo doesn't give a shit, unless it gets really loud and violent, but he was just kind of chilling in his dog bed, and Zuzu's like, I'm scared, and then he kept trying to get in the dog bed with Momo, and we really don't want him in the dog bed with Momo right now, because he's still, um, he being Momo, is still um, a bit uh, messed up from whatever the heck happened. And we want to give him time to feel better without his brother climbing all over him. And so he was super upset. Okay, I cut you. Did you actually land on... There you are. here. I'm actually not sure if that was the one I cut just now. I hope it was. It might have been. These pieces have to be so tiny in here. <clears throat> so does anybody have any plans for Labor Day? Are we doing anything fun or family traditions or like we used to barbecue, but we don't really have the funds to do that right now. Because you know it would be extra food that we'd be purchasing, so Honestly we we probably would, but it's we have to fix everything up. Yeah, we'd have to dig the grill out and make sure we have propane, and I'm not sure if we do, or at least I don't think we have enough for a full meal. Um, so instead, we are going to start a new Labor Day tradition of having homemade pizza. Honestly, next year I'm going to get more stuff to fry. Oh yeah, that's right, we did do funnel cake this weekend. Why, what did you say we did? We were going to make a tradition. Doing pizza on Labor Day? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Funnel cake tradition is pizza is just something we ate because we had it. <laughs> well, it was, you know, it's what we had the money to get, so we might make that a new tradition. Oh, come on now, we're happy with it, too. But, um, no, we, we made funnel cake. Um, By we, she means I. <laughs> the husband made it. The royal we. Hey, I helped put the drying, dripping tray together. So, and I did some of the dishes. But, um, yeah, no. Besides, I was busy making pasta sauce, and I'm afraid of hot oil. So, I'm. I burned myself on water, so I'm like, eh. I don't normally like to fry things, but, and that. That funnel cake 
recipe is a little much. We might have to half it. Because I think there was some that didn't get eaten. There was, but it wasn't as much as I would have expected. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay. But um, that's the main thing that we would get from the fair when we would go. But since we didn't go this year... And I'm glad we didn't, because uh, lots of people unmasked on top of each other. And, you know, I know that they say if you're outside, you don't need a mask on. However, that's because you can spread out away from people. If you're going to be all up in each other's personal space and on top of people that you don't know walking through a crowded event, even if it's outside... You people need to put the masks on. <laughs> you're, you're not... It's not just because you're outside. It's because you're outside and can space out. If you're not going to space out, then you might as well be inside. Like, <laughs> it, it's not that difficult to understand. But, you know, I think we saw three kids on a float out of a lot of kids on floats that had masks on and then there were maybe three or four adults that Russell saw crossing the street out of like a horde of 50. Which uh, does not give one much confidence that silly things aren't happening. I felt it fall out of my hand. Okay, I only dropped one of them. I'm like, what the hell? Why can't I keep track of these things today? Now there might be some gaps in between in spots, and that's okay. That's kind of why we have our textured background here, um, in case that happens. Now we're listening to Enya. Um, like I said, I've got a very eclectic library. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. I'm expecting that to happen. See? Glue. Just so we're all on the same page now. We're going to need to get some more out of our bag here. Still, we're not doing too bad. At least, I don't think we are. Where did we start today? Here? I don't remember. Was it here? Um, not sure. I still feel like progress is being had. Do 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 do. Sorry, it's a very snotty throat day. My fellow allergy suffer sufferers will know what I am talking about. Alrighty. Let's 
but I'm still amazed um, how sounds sound so much different now. Um, hi, Little. At least I think that was Little. I'm going to touch my leg. I don't know who because they're gone now. I don't see them. Um, might have been Little. Um, my other earbuds, the one ear was slowly dying and I didn't realize it so I thought I was going crazy and I actually thought I was going deaf in my one ear because I'm like I don't I don't really think I'm hearing anything out of this earbud and when I had them off I wasn't really hearing that much of a difference but then I was thinking well maybe when they're off my other ears picking up the slack it's possible and I was just very confused. And then I was like, husband, come listen to this. I was like, you've got to tell me, is this me? Have I gone deaf in my one ear? Or did this earbud die? And he's listening to it. He goes, I can't hear anything out of this earbud. And I'm like, okay, it's not me after all. So apparently it had been dying a slow, miserable death the past what six months and I finally was able to replace them because there's a specific set I use I would like to try the wireless ones sometime the wireless ones all have the weird um, rubbery silicone little round I call it a satellite dish because it kind of just looks like a, a cone of sheen or something that slips into your ear and uh, I don't normally like that, but if I want to go for the wireless ones, if I ever get the money to get them, um, I'm going to have to suck it up and deal with it. But um, I actually prefer right now, as far as wired is concerned, um, the, uh, the gummies from JVC. Or is it JCB? Um, JVC, sorry. Dyslexic, I flip things around. It's gonna happen. Welcome to my crazy half ass backwards world. But, um,. I prefer the gummy ones from there, not the Beast Boost ones. Those actually bother me a bit. Too loud. As it is, I have like my audio turned down really low and it still feels like mountainously, mountainously loud to me. My dad loved um, hydroplane boat races. Uh, he raced um, hydroplane boats for a while um, in an amateur league. And uh, so he would travel around with his boat. This was before I was born. Um, after I was born, my mom made him sell the boat. Because he was always going off every weekend. And she's like, no. You're gonna fucking stay here and help me. So, um. They have, um. They have pits that are out of the water. Where they're, they've got the boats up on the trailers. And they'll be working on them. And they'll just randomly start firing up the boats out of the water. If you've never heard a hydroplane boat fired up on a trailer, it's very, very, very ear-splittingly loud. Um, there's a reason why a lot of the dudes back there are walking around with the um, with the noise canceling headsets on. Um, my dad would be walking, he'd be, he'd know, he knew people from when he was racing. So, you know, it's always the wink and the nudge and the, oh yeah, come on back, you're my guest. Um, 
you know, and slip you back into the pit area. As long as, you know, you were with somebody and talking to them, nobody really kind of looked at you twice about, hey, where's your pit pass? Um, but everybody knew him, so it's like, fine, whatever. But um, it's very loud, especially to a young person's ears. And uh, my dad would like to go to the races when they were in town or close by. And he'd be like trying to take me with him and I would go because, you know, he was all excited about it and he didn't have anyone else to go with him. And um, I felt bad, so I would go. And then he would want to go back there and I, I was okay with it until I heard how loud they were and then I'm like back there holding my ears the entire time. It was very uncomfortable for me. And I'm just standing there looking at him like, how can you stand how loud it is back here? And the only thing that I could think of was, he's either used to the noise, or he's half deaf himself. So, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god. So my ears are very sensitive to loud noises. Don't like them. At all. They, they physically hurt. Um... So all of my stuff is usually turned way, way down. And I'll think it's blasting and Russell's like, I can hardly hear it. You're fine. And I'm like, really? It sounds so loud to me. But yeah, I've got like my speakers turned way below half on my computer. My, my actual sounds off of like iTunes are not even to half. It's like usually barely above like the the lowest setting. But yeah, body doesn't like the loud noises. And he actually won a couple of of uh, amateur league trophies. He, d he wasn't able to go all over the country because he still had his day job and he didn't have a sponsor. Um, there was a boat that I think had a corporate sponsor. Um, it would be all over the place. Uh, what the hell was it called? Miss Budweiser. Um, that one I believe was in fact sponsored by Budweiser. We were going to take him down for the um, the poker run in uh, Key West when we went. I was trying to find a hotel rooms for it, but everything was booked. Because, well, it wasn't hydroplanes. It was those offshore monstrosities. Um, I still think he would have enjoyed it. But um, we couldn't find any hotel rooms for it. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want to go traipsing down there with all this medical shit. And I'm like, you can. It's fine. We will do this for you. If you really want to go. But we decided it was too much of a pain in the ass. So uh, we went like we booked for like a week or two later. And he stayed here with um, our house sitter that was checking in, making sure if he needed anything, helping deal with the cats. Although our house sitter wasn't here as much as I had thought they were going to be. Which surprised me. But house sitter also was working while we were gone too, so. Alright, I am gonna have to tilt this just a little bit. 
So friends, let me gather you up. Because the dogs came with us. So it was one less thing he had to worry about. But all the cats still had to be fed. And we had the guinea pigs. Did we have the guinea pigs? I feel like we had the guinea pigs. Yes, we did. So um, they had to feed the pigs. Sorry, I'm just trying to get these laid in on the corner. I will give you project back in just a second. And now we're on Lindsay Sterling. I feel like I need one more little guy here. Maybe. Why does my. I feel like something is pulling on my hair. I don't know what it is. It is annoying the shit out of me. I can't find my clip either. I don't know what happened to it. I had it the other night. And now it's gone. Not that it would have held my hair that well, because it's just a little bit short to go in the clip, but oh, maybe it's getting caught on my earbud wire. That's possible. That was a weird sensation. Okay. Alright, so we've got we've got that filled in around that. Now, like I said, we're doing the entire background first. We're not paying attention to this monstrosity down here. We have to fix that. Um, but, okay, we're, we're about to turn the corner here. So, that's exciting. And sorry it's turned sideways at the moment. Um, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So I will adjust its placement in the camera in one second. We don't really want to pull glue off necessarily, but do want to try to redistribute it a little bit more evenly, I guess. Remember, we're trying to work in smaller glue increments because it was drying so quickly on me. Maybe not fully drying, but... It was setting up to the point where I was having trouble... it to grip. No, no. Yes, let's just stick our hands in all of it. All of it. Okay. Well, we're gonna have glue on the back of that hand now. Okay. What 
music is this? It sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Oh. Okay. It just sounded like something else. It sounded similar to Full Metal Alchemist. It's not. Let's find something. That'll work. But when you go with the larger pieces, sometimes they don't always want to sit. Technically, <laughs> they should probably be at an angle, but we're starting to get to the point where we need to de-angle this. Where'd that go? I sat it down. I didn't think I clipped off of those two. Maybe I did. seeing it. Okay. We're going to assume that I did clip off of one of these two. I didn't think I had, but that's okay. Alright. So now we have to work on getting some little guys down here. Without cutting ourselves is the key factor there. Whether or not we can actually do that <laughs> remains to be seen with our track record. there. Right. I'm grab these two because I feel like they're gonna fit about the best next. Alright, so we're gonna have to turn the angle on this here. Uh, so let's see about this. Really? You don't want to Where did it go? You guys probably saw where it went. And I don't think that's the one that I had just lost. It might not even... Here we go. Oh. It's like playing I Spy. Or like those highlights for kids. Can you find all of the missing pieces of tissue paper? Oh my goodness. Like, I know I need new glasses, but 
That's a little ridiculous. Ha! I think I found the one that I couldn't find earlier. <laughs> I knew you were there. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm telling you. Um, I think, well, maybe I can squish you in there. Extra bits of glue off the fingertips. And this section is just at an awkward length. here I wince every time I go to cut these because I'm so afraid that I'm going to feel my skin caught in the scissors No, I saw that. There it is. I was gonna say, I know I saw that one fly in that direction. Guy. Sometimes, once the paper gets wet enough from the glue, you can squish them in if they're just a little too big for the space. Sometimes. Now, if it's like crunchy tissue paper, mm, that might be a little more difficult. The softer tissue papers, you can kind of manipulate a little bit more. Can I get you in here? No. I can't. You're just a smidge. Too big. And I have no idea where those little pieces went. They probably hit the canvas and took off. Can't say I blame them. They're probably like, oh dang, I'm out of here. Alright. 
I mean, if I was smart, I would start cutting them inside of a plastic bag. Keep them from flying off. I mean, I have a whole box of them sitting next to me. What's the phrase? Work smarter, not harder. That would save us 20 minutes of playing Where'd It Go? It is a little more annoying. Yes, they're contained. Yes, we are trying to not waste anything. Alright, and that one's a bit a bit big. So, oops. Right, let's get this guy laid in here. We might have to put a little bit more glue down. Maybe. We got this section almost done. I mean, it does go a little bit faster when you don't have to trim them down. Just a little bit. We're either gonna have to use our little guys or we're gonna have to trim. Holy hell! What's that, sir? How can people have their radios turned up so loud in their vehicles that it makes the houses vibrate with how high the bass is? Like, how can they stand it? Like, aren't they peeing themselves because the vibration is so high? Like, what the hell? Like, can they hear emergency vehicles? Like, you can get a ticket for that. You ought to be able to get a ticket for that. I guess if a cop's really pissed off, you will be getting a ticket for that. Hi, cow. What's up? Yes, that is my arm. Are you ready to go let my my have a turn to come out? I think it's about time for kitty swap. In fact, it's like way past time for kitty swap. She's probably mad. All right. 
right, so that's filled in. And hey guys, guess what? We've officially turned the corner. Okay, we are on to the next section here. I know we didn't get right up in here, but we're going to worry about that later. That's going to get filled in with other things. It's fine. That we're not worried about. Okay. Officially turned the corner. Swap them out one okay. Our little, our little cut up bag here that there's hardly anything in at the moment. So we need to work on this next section. We're gonna do half the length to start with just so it doesn't dry out on us because it does take a little bit of time to cut to cut and smoosh cut and smoosh Our trusty yucky glue brush. Just because it's seen better days doesn't mean it can't be useful. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. We're gonna open our snippy bag. These tiny guys need to get cut down even tinier. Alright. At least that's what we're trying to do. I don't know if it's going to work. It's kind of a pain in the ass to put them in here though. But at least I guess they're sort of contained and oh we did not snip enough off of that. Not by a long shot. Alright, where's all of my snippy pieces. I'm not sure if that's really working or just being a pain in the ass. Um, I mean, it's kind of working, but... on into here. I thought there was one more. I mean, there's one over here. I thought I had one more sitting right here. I don't feel it though, so I guess not. Okay. Let's just grab some more.
Um, so we need to keep this going. Alright. So now we're listening to Only Time with Enya. If anybody wants to know what's on this playlist that I'm currently listening to, I'll be more than happy to send you a copy of the songs, like the name of the songs, I'm not actually sending you the songs, I will send you the names of what's on there. You can uh, hit me up on Twitter and DM for that. It would probably be too long-winded of a message to do um, through Twitch Whisper. Because this playlist has... Give me one second. This playlist has 255 songs on it. And is 13, uh, one, it's basically 14 hours. It's like 13 hours and 59 minutes. Okay. Do, 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 do. And if I can hold on to them, we don't need the plastic bag of snipping containment. Okay. Alright. Well, we have made some progress today because we've officially started work on the top section. Come on. So some of the pieces from the um, supports in between the feathers, the white. When the glue gets added for the middle pieces, um, they might get a little unruly. Like, they're not going to come unglued, but like the twisted parts that maybe weren't fully glued down um, might start to get a little a little rowdy, and that's fine. You can just kind of fuss with them, get them pushed back into where they need to go, or maybe this is your opportunity to get them to behave, get them smoothed down, you know, whatever you want to do. Although I doubt anybody's actually following along, because this is insanity. I know what I'm doing is insanity, but I like the look of it. contained in my hand and I still lost it. 
my goodness. that one down in that gap there. It kind of looked like it was going to be a bit problematic. Well, this one's probably going to not want to cooperate very well. Sometimes you can just tell when you go to place it. I did have a little bit of an extra gap in that spot. Right. That's going to sit in there. Stylus check or squishy tool check. Make sure it doesn't have too much glue built up on it because that can be another thing that you're gonna be fighting against. work on this next section here. Well, the rest of this section, really. Where's Zed? We need Zed. I need you, buddy. Zed keeps us from sliding around too much. Okay. My little squishy stress ball zebra from the Little Debbie outlet. He's not that squishy actually, but... He does come in handy. I will say that. I actually don't know what the zebra's name is. I just call him Zed. I have named him Zed. I don't know what his official name should be. Alright, so... Rinse in the glue brush. Make sure you kind of dry off the ferrule, too. The little metal thingy. to get as much water off of there as you can. Alright. Ah, okay, I really wasn't prepared to drop that, but okay. Alright then. It wanted to... Actually, we didn't need to cut it. Not really, so that works out. What about you? Do I need to cut you? No, nah, I should have cut you. Well, how about you come live up here? Since you didn't get trimmed. Let me know if you guys want that more zoomed in. I'm fine with zooming it in. Now we're on Lindsay Sterling. 
all kinds of stuff on this music list here. And again, for those that are just joining, no, you can't actually hear the music because DMCA. But I'm just letting you know what I'm listening to in case you want to listen to it on your own. Or you're curious. So these guys up here are just kind of being unruly because they don't have anybody to really help hold them in place at the moment. Easier when I can push them against ones that are already in there, which is why I usually start at one point and work up or down. Usually, and then there's other days where I'm kind of jumping all over. Time for some Silky B. Hawkins. Um, as I lay me down. Is the song of the moment. Slowly coming to life. Slowly. But when we're done and we go to put the um, sealer on, we do our top coat of Mod Podge. It just kind of, I don't know what it is about the Mod Podge, but it just kind of zaps all of the colors. And it kind of breathes a magical life into them to make them a little bit brighter. Kind of fascinating. I cut you in my closed hand. I guess you fell out before I realized. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> That's I'm gonna grab one of these guys. I wasn't feeling that big of a gap in there. Do, 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 uh, so maybe just a little bit off of these guys. Sorry I go into what I, well, what Russell considers them to be. And I've just kind of went with it. We call them grr moments. Um... If you've ever seen Invader Zim, where the little dog robot that is Zim's assistant, Gurr, will just go off on uh, 
to start singing randomly. I can't actually, well, I don't, I'm sure I could sing the words, but I'm not gonna put you all through that, if I can help it. I mean, on the rare occasion, I may, but, uh, try not to do that. Because nobody needs to hear that. Um. But, uh. I'll, like, start, like, doing, like, little noises along to the song. Kind of with the song. But, uh. A lot of the time they just, they just happen. So apologies if that annoys the shit out of you. Now what are we switching to? Sounds like Joshua Cadison. And the song is those all night radio love line. He makes it sound so torturous to be picked yeah, up. Yeah. That cat. He like meows in your face for attention and then you go to pick him up and he's like, why are you picking me up? And then he's like, okay, I'm happy. morning, like three or four in the morning, he was just walking around, meowing his head off. No idea why. He had food, because I got up and checked, because I was like, he's never going to let me sleep. We've been through that game before, when they all start running through the house. That stupid o'clock. I usually get mad and get up to get them to stop, and then I walk out into the kitchen and they're both empty. Like, really? Like, you guys aren't gonna explode because there's nothing in this food bowl for two hours until somebody else gets up. Apparently, they feel very differently about it. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure how much we really need to nip off of that one. Okay. This guy, that gap there was bugging me a little bit. Actually done pretty well for the time that we've been on so far today. I think we have. I'm rather pleased. something I didn't want to. Motorcycles going by if you hear the weird 
sound in the background since I'm not talking nonstop. Sunday art is a little more chill. I'm not always yammering. I will take pauses in between to do some stuff. But that does mean you may hear some of the traffic in the background, which is why I usually try to keep talking so it doesn't get too too much. Oh. Alright, so we're up for a song change now. We're now listening to Lindsay Sterling and Gabby's song. was trying to cut these inside the bag but it was getting annoying getting them out the little tiny pieces so hello had a stowaway on my shirt okay I know there are little couple of little gaps but I'm okay with those Got our pile of little guys here. Try to keep them all together. Probably be better if I kept these guys over here so they didn't blend in with all the little lines over there. Alright. Time for a quick stretch break. I'm just cleaning up my fingertips, making sure we don't have too much of a sticky mess or glue flakes and stuff. Alright, so we are here. Um, yeah, we're, let's do this one, let's do this one next. Just do a pre blot just to make sure that our brush is good and dry on our towel. Now, since I'm working with um, with glue and I'm rinsing it off in the water that's going to be come, you know, kind of glue saturated water, I will wipe the glue brush off on a paper towel just so I don't mess up my. Um, my cloth painting towel and have to worry about getting the weird crunchy glue bits off of it. However, I do reuse this same paper towel for like weeks. So it, it's not a fresh paper towel every session. It will be the same one until it's no longer absorbing anything. So I will get a few weeks of use out of it. 
try to make the most of it, right? Try to use these little guys in this space here. Oh, we're back to Joshua Gaddison. And our new song is Jesse. You know, a lot of people probably never even heard of Joshua Gaddison. I don't want to say he was a one-hit wonder. He did have a couple of songs. But definitely from the 80s, maybe early 90s. It might have been more 80s. Maybe. Okay. Ah! Dropping stuff. Lots of motorcycles today. I mean, the day looked pretty decent when I looked outside after all that that rain last night. We really needed the rain, though. I'm very happy about the rain. Maybe my plants won't completely die. I've got these um, green leaf plants that love the shade, that don't like the heat, apparently. Um, they've got like pink, pink um, splotches running through leaves. I can't remember what they're called. It's something with a C. Cory something or other. Um, and uh, they perked up a bit once the sun got off them last night because yesterday they were wilted and I was worried for them we don't always water outside uh, we tend to only water if it looks like my uh, elephant ears aren't doing so good we've got a whole bunch of those they didn't get as they didn't all get as big as I was hoping they were gonna, but we were growing them in buckets instead of, um, mo most of them are in buckets because the way our front yard is set up is kind of strange. There's a section where there's like, um, dirt right up on the edge of the porch. And then there's a section where it's like a concrete pad that's up against the edge of the porch instead of dirt. So we can't really plant anything right there. It's bizarre. Why is that being weird? I don't know. Oh, that'll fix it. Something looks weird, just place another piece down on top of it. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Well, I probably should get an idea of where I need to snip this before I start snipping. Alright. Yeah, snip that a little. 
a little long, but that's okay. This feather section's a bit of a hot mess in here. It seems okay. Yeah, that guy was actually fairly long. And now we're on Sister Hazel. Somewhere out there. Or is it somewhere? No, it's out there. I'm sorry. Somewhere out there is a different song from Fievel. Cutting these long. Why am I cutting you guys so long? Oh, well, you are kind of the right size. Okay. Let's grab a little bit more paper. Oh. Is Snowball on the move? No, just your snowball real quick. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye on him when he gets up, just see what he's up to. He's not wanted to get on the bed since he hurt himself the second time. He's just wanted to lay on his pillow in his doggy bed. Tapped in here. Yep. Time to de glue the stylus. We're getting some buildup around the bottom. finger. Thank you. It didn't even look like I had any glue on my finger, but that guy just did not want to let go. It's like, no, I live here now. Nope. No, you don't. Trust me, you don't want to live there. Okay. I mean, I've got this little guy, but he's not really going to be... He's so little. Doesn't even register that he's there. Okay. I mean, we could play around with watercolors on the next project. I, I don't know. Could try to draw something and fail miserably at it, you know. Drawing's not my strongest. I mean, we did draw this one, but it was really rough. I had all kinds of guide. Uh, Guidelines everywhere. <laughs> so 
putting this spread out. We might need a little bit more. I might have been a little bit stingy. In this section, maybe. We'll see. Get that cleaned up. Get that over there. And let's dive back into the rest of our section here. So the only VODs that are going to be going up um, this week on YouTube are going to be the Franchise Friday one and this one. Um, there really wasn't, we really didn't accomplish much um, in Minecraft this week. Uh, all we did was find our location and I really didn't feel like putting up a three hour VOD of us just dicking around trying to find the desert that I was searching for. Um, so since there really wasn't anything happening there, I'm not gonna slide that one over. And uh, my mic malfunctioned on Bloodthirsty this week, so that was like two hours of me not talking, apparently. Um, so yeah, this week it's just going to be Franchise Friday getting put up on YouTube and today. Providing it did register my restart as a new um, as a new stream and it doesn't mute the, the VOD. Hopefully it doesn't. I quickly hit stop stream and corrected the issue uh, and restarted it so we'll We'll see. I didn't see it showing as a separate VOD, but it might not have um, been going long enough to count it. We'll, we'll see. Fingers crossed. it does mute it, I'll just have to um, upload it with a stipulation that uh, there's no audio. Just so we don't lose the the, pro the progress from the playlist. So now we have train playing and 50 ways to say goodbye. It's not really that sad of a song, so it's a weird song. Or at least I don't view it as a sad song. Sorry, if you see me rubbing my fingers together, I'm trying to get the glue. Little bits of glue that are still on there off. all that's about. Because when you push down, the glue wells up in between. And then it gets on the fingers, and then, you know, the paper wants to stick to the fingers. Huh. 
pop that into place. more paper. So these are just a little bit long to be stuffing in there. I do have to trim them just a little bit. In fact, that one probably should have been trimmed a little bit more. If we're going to be perfectly honest there. Now, I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on our Minecraft build off of stream as I get time. Because it's going to be a bit of um, supply gathering and uh, and uh, terraforming, so. tapped in there. Okay. Yes, yes, loud traffic. A lot of traffic today. I mean, I guess because A, holiday weekend, and B, the craft fair in town, a lot of people do yard sales this weekend because there's going to be so many people milling about, and um, there's a lot of people that come out and do the uh, antique stores and the thrift shopping and all of the things. They used to do a big benefit um, yard sale type thing for the um, the town's pound this weekend. However, the people that would run it and set it up are getting a bit older now and it's a lot of work and it's really hard on them. So they've decided to not do that anymore. Because that would be a couple houses down from us. So that's one less thing going on this weekend. But they try to set up booths if they can get volunteers to man them at other um, events to try to raise money for the pound. And it's a no-kill local shelter. Um, and they do uh, low cost or is it low cost or is it no cost? I think it's low cost. Um, cat spay clinics like every every month, every two months, something like that. And they are always flooded with people. Which, I mean, I guess is a good thing. So we have less unwanted strays and ferals running around.
because we found out that we could release the the mice that we're catching in the attic up at the one lake that people go fishing at and we were rather shocked by the amount of cats running around up there we had no idea there were quite so many um, feral guys up there or dumped cats not necessarily they're not necessarily all feral but that seems to be a big dumping ground sadly I guess because the middle of the night there's usually not anybody up there I mean, sometimes you'll get a couple night fishers, I suppose, but more often than not, there's usually not. Oh, thank you. It's slowly coming along. Definitely a labor of love. Definitely takes a bit of time to uh, progress through. And I feel like we need just a little bit more glue. I really should get another bottle of glue to have on hand doesn't feel any way, shape, or means like it's about to run out. It's still pretty heavy. But I should have another glue bottle on hand. I might have to pick one up the next time we're down Walmart way. Alright. So I just wanted to get a little bit more glue in there because it did feel like it was starting to dry. Once we get this section done that we're currently fussing with, we're going to do the next couple of eye feathers. Let's see here. Who needs to be trimmed? I don't know if you guys really need to be trimmed all that much. Oh, you come back. All the little guys are trying to bail out. They're like, I'm out of here. Little do they know, we may still need them. But we really don't want them running away. This one's coming untwisted just a little bit. That's okay, you can retwist it. It's just fine. Alright, sometimes you're occasionally going to want to push down on everything just to make sure it's touching the surface and that it's not just floating up out of the glue. Make sure you've got some sort of surface contact. Now again, we're not getting rid of these little guys because sometimes we need them for these little tiny crevices. Or to fill in a gap that's being particularly fussy. Like I'm about to have a gap here that's going to be 
a bit cranky. Tuck that in there. Doesn't have to be in there perfectly. Oh, just sliding all over the place now. Right, that's that's pretty good. All right. Okay, now, let's see, we're at two hours and 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to take our greens here that we've got left over. If we can not slide them everywhere. This is just regular tissue paper. It's not the bleeding kind. It's the gift bag kind. Um, I cut them down into like one inch squares roughly. Some are a little over an inch, but you know roughly one inch squares. All right, I still want these little pieces so I'm gonna pop them on my drink lid that I'm reusing. It was fairly clean so I was like ah, just give it a quick rinse and we're using that to hold some of our colors. Okay, now kind of want this in place before we start bringing up the feathers around it. We're going to start to put that in. So this is our body feather color. It's this color here. And uh, so the little one inch-ish, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, the small squares of paper that I ended up cutting down from the bigger squares. I just rolled those into little paper snakes, like kind of like like a diamond, like a triangle shape, folded in half, and then twisted the diamond shape, or triangle rather, to get that. Um, I will show you how I did that in just a second. Just want to make sure this guy is gonna sit. Sometimes when you roll it into a snail shell or a rosebud type shape they want to unravel a little bit and they take a little bit extra fussing sometimes hang on there's a little extra bit of glue on the top of this just want to clear that off actually let's clear our nozzle Now we're listening to Irfan. That's probably not how you pronounce it. I R F A N. Uh, the song is called Sim Simurg. S I M U R G H. I, I don't. I know I've mispronounced that, but this is not in a language I understand, so I probably am mispronouncing it, and I do apologize. But the song's pretty, so. I'm not sure where I ran across this. I might have run across to this artist when I was listening to Pandora. I don't, I don't have, well, I still, I mean, I still have my free account with Pandora. I don't have my paid account with them anymore. And it's okay if you get I should have twisted the paper before I did that. Um, it's okay if you get some glue on other sections that you've already done. The glue will dry clear. So don't worry about that. Alright, so is this? No, that's not our glue. Our glue. This is our glue. Okay. So this is basically what they look like when I cut them down. That's probably way more than we need right now. So you can see they're, they're not really exactly one inch squares, roughly. So um, take the little piece and 
fold it up so it's like a little triangle guy and then just kind of start twisting one end into a little paper snake and get a guy that looks like that and then I take one of the ends and kind of roll it up on itself and then just kind of keep pulling it tight and wrapping the rest of his little tail around him and sometimes I will tuck the tail under him sometimes you can take the slightest tiniest amount of glue the tiniest amount of glue and run it along the edge as you are turning it or before you go to turn it and that will sometimes help it hold its shape because the circular shapes do require a little bit extra fussing I'll see for this one that's not completely square just you know take one of the corners and fold it up it just gives you something a little bit easier to work with so that it wants to twist a little bit better that's all And when you do the circles, sometimes you may have gaps in the center. It happens. If the gap bothers you too much, you can drop another circular piece on top of it. Of the same color when you're done. Like when you're done that layer. Um, part of the reason why we have a color thing roughly painted in underneath is um, in case there are any gaps the color from underneath will be peeking through and it won't be as noticeable um, well it won't be as noticeable it'll still be a little noticeable um, it won't be as glaringly noticeable as if it was a white canvas underneath and by doing the rough um, color key that I painted in, I don't have to constantly be looking at my reference photo, so I can kind of make this my own now, because it's not going to look identical to it, for sure. Um, but it definitely helps me with, okay, this needs to be roughly here, and then I can run with it from, from there. So it, it's, it serves a little bit of a multi-purpose for us doing this step. It does make the project last a little bit longer because it is another step we have to do. But I think it helps in the long run. Because I've done it without doing the painting underneath and I've done it with. Um, the circles like to pop up so sometimes you have to hold them for a couple seconds but um, I, I much prefer it with the underpainting below it definitely Okay, this guy's being a little extra fussy. So when you're doing the circles, um, I try to make the glue a little bit deeper than just as I do on the, um, the snakes here. Uh, mostly because that way they've got something to, to really sit and grip up into their crevices to kind of help hold them in place. Uh oh. No! Tissue paper down! Okay. Saved it. And of course, the smaller your square, the smaller your paper snake or 
little nail shell flower looking thing is going to be. So if you have trouble gripping the small things, maybe make them a little bit bigger. It's up to you. We're just kind of winging it here. Let's not think gather in these guys, because yeah, we did pull way too many out. I'll just set you back there for now. Okay, so next color around is orange. And we already have our orange pieces in there. Really? I can't tell if somebody just doesn't know how to drive or if they're trying to do a burnout in front of our house. That, that was nice. I hope it was because they don't know how to drive. But people are very impatient driving around here. It seems. Okay, that was not intended. So if you do get glue dribble on sections that you've already finished, you can just kind of spread it out a little bit so it doesn't dry in a lump. It will dry clear, but the lump might be a little more noticeable, so. Alright, let's grab some of our orange guys here out of our tray. Okay. And same thing that we did with the blues. Just gonna turn this guy as best as our hands are going to allow. To his little shape. Now you can kind of tell when you're twisting it if it's going to be a problematic one where it doesn't want to stay. It'll be trying to unfurl as you're trying to sit it down. I try to pull it a little bit tighter it tends to want to hold that shape a little bit better and you're gonna end up with glue on your fingertips it, it's it's gonna happen so don't get upset about it if that's going to bother you, this might not be the project for you. And that's okay. Not everything is for everybody. So right now we are listening to Wings of Sleep from Native Nocturnes, um, Jacita Reyes from Native American Flute Lullabies. Well, I'm listening to it. I think that's a little too sleepy for me at the moment, so we will pick something else at the moment. Oh, 
Okay, I just got up not that long ago. We don't need to be that sleepy right now. Some of my orange guys are a little bit on the smaller side. And they are a little bit harder to show you what I'm doing since my hands are dwarfing them. No, that came undone. That's okay. We'll, we'll be okay with it because, I mean, we have some little gaps in there and that's fine. It's going to happen. We just have to learn to accept it. Except if it's too much of a gap, then, you know, we'll go back and lay another piece over top of it if it bothers us too much. That is an option. All right. Nope, get off my finger. Little tiny glue pieces. The glue skin, I like to call them. You know, when you would, I know not everybody did it and a lot of people thought it was gross, but you know, when you were a kid or kid at heart, some people might still do it for sensory need of it all, um, where you would pour, pour out the Elmer's school glue on your hand and just watch it dry. And then when it dries, you would like peel it off. I'm curious to know if those that did that are you also sunburn peelers? I I'm curious to know, like, if you get a sunburn bad enough where your skin starts to peel. Are you one of the people that needs to peel them too? I am. I, I don't usually get sunburned anymore because I'm not usually outside <laughs> and my skin exposed enough to get sunburned. But if I do get burnt to the point that my skin's peeling, I am one of those people that will peel it. So it's probably better that I am don't have that much skin exposed when I'm outside anymore. Because it's probably not the wisest thing to do, but I can't help it. I can't stop myself. Oh, that one just completely, completely unraveled. All right, so. We're gonna take the little bit of glue that got on there, spread it down the length of the paper snake, and then re respin that guy. It actually sticks remarkably well um, if you do that. Your hands get a lot messier, um, but it does actually help because there's just barely a kiss of glue on there. Sorry, I know I'm sitting off camera. So if I have one that's being exceptionally stubborn, so just barely touch it to the glue that's already down and then you know drag it down the length with your fingers you're gonna be sticky but doing it that way <laughs> if I can get it to let go of me it does actually hold it in place a lot easier and that's the second option if you don't feel like fighting with it once it's down we don't have to really fight with it, but you guys know what I'm saying. Right. I will say if you are going to be doing the little snail shell circular guys, 
it does work better if your snake is longer so maybe um, if you plan on doing those ahead of time maybe cut your square for your snake a little bit bigger depending on the size that you're trying the size area you're trying to squeeze it into but yeah the the bigger the longer the paper snake the uh, easier it is to get into place sometimes oh, it seems as though we are back onto <sighs> who are we listening to now Lindsay Sterling again with mirror Haas H A U S maybe that's how you pronounce it I'm terrible at pronouncing things. I think I spelled it in the right order. That's why I've always read it, so. Hopefully that was right. Okay. We're just gonna make sure these guys are in place. There's gonna be sirens, possibly, filtering into the background. I apologize, there's a cop or an ambulance or something going by. And of course, every time I say that, then they end up turning before our house. And then you guys don't actually end up hearing it. But if you did hear it... I'm actually amazed there hasn't been more sirens this weekend. Because they were supposed to be doing um, extra drunk driving checks with it being holiday weekend between um, the local police and the state police. So I am actually kind of amazed. I think I heard some sirens late last night. But not as many as I was expecting. Just rinsing off our glue brush. And I'm gonna get rid of the glue buildup on the back of my hand. I'm starting to get distracting, so I'm just gonna scratch that off real quick. Okay, so now we need green. Oh, we need a different shade of green. I'm gonna grab my bucket at the risk of having everything fall next to me. Um, so I need. Where is that? There it is. We need our neon green. Or our yellow green or, or lime green whatever green you are gonna call it I don't know right, stick that back there it's my tweezers got one lone usable guy hanging out back there okay these guys are a little bit longer than the um, than the orange ones. I do apologize for the way I say orange. Um, apparently, I say it much differently than people here say it where we're living at now. And I'm like, I can't help that. I didn't grow up in this state. I grew up on the East Coast. In New Jersey. South New Jersey. Southern New Jersey. Nobody had a problem with the way I say orange there. Hmm. 
I'm like, how the hell else am I supposed to say it? <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. And we'll start to get our green layer put in here. Let's see, what time is it? Alright, so this will probably be the last thing that we do today, is working on this, um, this green section here. I know we didn't get a whole lot of done, a lot, we didn't get a whole lot of stuff done uh, for the time, but at the same time I feel like we kind of did, because we did have to do a lot of snipping and um, measuring. To get things put into place. And you know what? We've actually, we were, we were over here somewhere. We might have been here. Here or here. Um, and we came around the corner, which is one of the goals that I had for today. So that is fabulous. Um, and we're starting to get this eyepiece done. Eye feather done. That's what I call them. That's probably not what they actually are. That's what I like to refer to the mouse. And so next week we'll be working on this this section, this section, this section. Oh, that's gonna be a tight boy to get stuff squeezed into there. Um, and we'll probably be doing another eye feather. We might get that eye feather done next week. We'll see how far we get. We'll see. But we are definitely making progress. Can't wait so we can fix the monstrosity that happened down here. I might try to rip some of these off. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, but we might try to. Might try to do that off stream. Just so we can get in there a little bit easier and fix it because that does need fixing down there because that's this corner was before we figured out how we were really going to approach things while I was still finding my feet under or on this project because you know sometimes things sound good in your head and then when you go to do them they don't quite come out the way you had envisioned and then it's either gets discouraged and scrap the whole thing or take a deep breath reevaluate and maybe see if there's a different way that might work out a little bit better given the materials on hand I think when I was originally laying this out, I was still kind of looking at it from like a painter's perspective, maybe, instead of, you know, needing to lay down um, tissue paper shapes and stuff. Because if I had really thought about it, I would not have made these quite so close together. Like these are probably okay, but there's a couple sections in here where it's been a little tight getting them in there, so I mean, we do learn things as we go. And it's totally okay for things to not be 100% perfect. So if you guys are doing any art, I would love to see you. It doesn't have to be following along, just anything. Could be crowns, could be colored pencils. 
feel free to tag me on Twitter. I don't have an Instagram. I mean, well, I kind of do, but I don't. Um, I don't post over there. I've got enough, I've got enough posting to do. So, uh, Instagram is one thing I don't do. Um, I've got a gallery on. I've got a small gallery growing on coffee um, of stuff I've done. Although I realized last night or the other night when I was posting an update to something that I now have available in the shop. Um, that uh, I never posted <laughs> the final picture on one of the things that I had been posting updates that I had been working on and I was like oh damn well why didn't I post the final picture on that so things get hectic because I've got a lot of places that I take care of between um, what I volunteer to do for WoW challenges and um, that's a lot of social media posting at times um, it took me like an hour I think the other night, a couple weeks ago, but I was like setting up all kinds of scheduling posts so I didn't forget to do something. Because, you know, my brain likes to forget to do all of the things sometimes. So, I love that schedule feature. It saves my brain a lot of the time. Alright. So we're getting there, you guys. It's been a nice, relaxing, chill Sunday. Or Monday, wherever you are. We've just been chilling. Making a mess. And uh, having some fun. Making stuff with our hands. Getting our hands all sorts of messy. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes you just need to. Oh, so I was trying to say, feel free to tag me on Twitter. Because I don't have Instagram. Um, see, I forget things even when I'm in the middle of talking about them. Um, holy shit. So, uh... It, Twitter is at Nisi BGN. Same as the channel name here. Try to keep thing, try to keep everything um, similar, as similar as I can. Cause it sucks when you know th somebody that you follow is this name here and they're that name there, and I have to track it down everywhere. So yeah, so I do have a coffee page. Same name. Although it might be Nisi Paints on coffee, but I think it might be, it's either Nisi Paints or Nisi BGN over there. You can follow the link. Well, the link says Nisi BGN, so it's probably, the button says Nisi BGN, so it's probably Nisi BGN over there too. There's so much to keep track of. All right. All right, you guys. And there's that eye feather. Let's see, just about three hours in. So I think that's a good stopping point tonight. My neck's kind of, kind of angry today from when I first woke up. So I think that's about all I can do today because I am leaning forward at an awkward angle. <laughs> but uh, let's turn this guy. Let me get this off of here, and we'll look at him the proper way. get these pieces pulled off of here so we don't lose them. Alright, look out Zed. Thank you for your service today. Alright. So yeah, we're we've turned the corner. We're now we're now over here. So he's a little awkward, so I do have to have him sideways because he won't fit on camera. Um if he's not, because I'll have to be way too zoomed out for that. But yeah, not not too bad. Um, so we've got this one in place, this guy's dry. So yeah, next week, um, next week's goal, I think, is going to be to get over to here, um, get this feather in and then get everything in around it. It would be awesome if we can move 
further than that, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Is he's crooked. He's gonna look crooked because the way the camera angle is. But, um, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. We've got this whole side done. He looks pretty, pretty spiff over here. So we're, we still have to do all of this. This is just temporary. Well, not temporary, but I was just seeing how things were going to go. Trying to figure out what we wanted to do. This section down here I need to do something with. Um, because that's a hot mess. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to pull that out. So we'll, we'll rip that section out. I might do that off stream. Um, just because that's going to be a little bit harder to see in that corner because that didn't get the, the whitewash on it, but eh, we'll, we'll figure it out. So thank you guys for hanging out with me this afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. Um, thank you for sharing your time with me. I do appreciate it. Um, the likes, the retweets, all that do greatly help between um, YouTube, Twitter, uh, here, everything's great. Um, now, schedule for this week is going to be um, more WoW challenges on Wednesday. We're trying to get the four that we're currently working on leveled up another level. The rogue's getting close. I have to work on him some more later tonight. Because, uh, whew. Um, yeah, we'll get into that on Wednesday. But uh, hopefully he makes it to C59. He's getting closer, though. Fingers crossed on that one for me. Um... Thursday, we're gonna be doing Minecraft on Thursdays for a while now. I just I needed a break from Stardew Valley. I was I'm kind of burnt out on it at the moment. Um, so I do need to go back in and change the schedule to reflect that Thursday is going to be Minecraft for a bit. Um, Friday will once again be Franchise Friday. We have some more buildings around the P file exhibit to um, prettify and. Uh, Saturday will be the Wild Challenges podcast. I am not on this week, this coming week. Um, I will be in the chat modding though. If you are participating or want to participate in the Wild Challenges Challenger fashion show, please make sure that you have your entries in by September 9th at the absolute latest. Um, anything submitted after the 9th will not be um, looked at because Lita and Chris need to sit down together. They need to decide who the winners are going to be ahead of time before the show on the 11th. And um, uh, presentations have to be put together for the show. So it's very important that those are received no later than the 9th. Winners will be announced on the 11th live on the show. That's going to be on Saturday. And then next Sunday, we'll be right back here working on our B-File again. So thanks guys, Gre greatly appreciate you and appreciate your time and the views and all of that. So until Wednesday, you guys take care of yourselves, stay safe. I hope your work week isn't too terrible. And until next time, have a good one.